lecture i'm going to discuss what how to create conceptual data model so for this one i'm going to use the navigate id so here first you need to click on this model then after click on this new model or then you need to select your conceptual after that click on this ok then or uh, their uh, model page that's uh, come there so first uh, thing is here you can or uh, create the models by clicking go uh, drag and drops option to this places but i'm not going to do this so for for this one i'm going to take the data or tables from the database so clicking on this import database and thereafter select here or the database so there i'm going to select here mysql and using secular then after or uh, secular because the number of tables are 17 and 7 views are there click on this start so now you can see or uh, there that's finished successfully within quick second of terms and this is here conceptual uh, model that's uh, created okay and uh, if you want to see here total numbers of entities so total numbers of entities you can see this place and uh, with the help of uh, all this we can easily analyze the or relationship so with the help of primary key and foreign key uh, we can uh, connect one or two tables so with the help of primary key and uh, or primary key and foreign key conditions so we can connect the tables okay and uh, thereafter here you can see this is so uh, this place uh, uh, if uh, this uh, play, this uh, total area selected if i click there then uh, this total areas are selected here if i click this place uh, then uh, this is the lonely tables so uh, these tables are not connected with the others tables and uh, here if i click uh, there then you can see the tables are connected so on this conceptual models you cannot uh, analyze where is the primary key and foreign key in this tables only you can see the uh, here or tables so uh, circular store circular or uh, customer and uh, this all but you cannot uh, analyze so uh, what exactly is the primary key on or uh, conceptual or uh, models so here if i go on this uh, model then you can uh, click on this entities total numbers of uh, or tables are present there and then after here we need to save this one so let's uh, write here conceptual model underscore conceptual and if you want to specify the database then you can write here mysql then or uh, this saved or uh, there and to uh, or uh, this is how we can uh, create uh, uh, conceptual models okay and uh, you can uh, see this all details or uh, this places and now if i'm going to close this one then here you can see one is so uh, or uh, conceptual model that's created if i click then directly from this place conceptual models that's come there okay now you can uh, see the dates created and size 43 kb is there and here you can see this all details so this location there uh, file or uh, model that saved and model type is conceptual version this and created you can see this all so this is how we can create the conceptual models on and here if i click on this design then directly open the design or this places of the conceptual data model and so uh, this is for new and this is for to terminate the or model so this is how we can create the conceptual models with the help of navigate id so i hope guys this video is helpful for you so now in this video it's over so thanks for watching see you next video thank you